Yo, what's going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG, we're back with a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about the Mustang GT3, the brand new GT3 that's been released on ACC. Now, I wanted to sort of have a time to have my own experience with the car so I can give a, a review of what I think about the car, how it feels to me. Um, I was going to stream yesterday, but instead I decided just to do a race. That's the best way to just get to know a car, jump in it. Um, I didn't watch too many videos of other people driving the car, so... I can have my own, you know, my own preconceived notions to how I feel about driving the uh, the, the the Ford Mustang, and um, yeah, it was interesting, man. I pretty much just jumped in a Imola race on LFM, no practice, no real setup, and just you know see how the car felt just from scratch. Whether I feel like the car can be a contender, um, and yeah, let's get stuck into the video. So first of all, I want to say the car generally looks amazing. I do like the in-car camera as well. You can see lots, nice big windscreen. You're not really blocked by the, the side pillar of the um, left-hand frame of the car. So all those things for me are positive. Some cars like the Lexus, for instance, it seems it's a little bit intrusive in your, your visibility, especially when you're driving through left-hand corners. But for me, the Mustang feels pretty nice um, on the inside of the car, looks-wise. Um, for me, what I did notice driving the car straight away was one, the gear ratios are extremely different to i would probably say any other car in the game um it seems to have a very short first gear with a lot of torque and then the second gear seems to bog down a lot so it's like it's almost as if you need a gear in between those gears because they just seem to not be tweaked quite as right now i don't know what the real life mustang gt3 is like to drive I haven't watched many onboards to see if this sort of thing is accurate, but knowing ACC, I have no reason to believe they would get it, you know, badly wrong. But it definitely feels off, man. The gears on this car feel off. And that's probably why I feel like in the slow corners, it is a proper struggle. I'm not too sure what gears to be in. Whenever I did try to go down to first, the back end would absolutely light up. When I kept it in second, it was just pure understeer. Now, that might be functionality of my setup, I don't know, but for me, in the slow speed, the car's a handful, it doesn't feel that great. It feels like a boat. Like, we've got a Bentley, which is, you know, called the boat, but the Bentley is way more pleasant to drive, in my personal opinion. Um, I feel like this car's like, it's, it's, it's just, it's rough, you know? And if I'm honest, now, as I said, I haven't done a lot of research into the the, uh, the Mustang GT3, but what I, what I do know is the sound for me is off. Now, call me, <laughs> call me what you want, but I'm telling you, the sound in this Mustang is literally a copy and paste from the Jaguar. I'm not lying. The sound from this Mustang is a copy and paste of the Jag. And it sounds like the Jag in car, and it sounds like the Jag out of the car as well. And I'm not too sure about that. I, I think I've seen a video of the um, the Mustang testing at Monza in real life. It doesn't sound like the Jaguar. It, I was expecting more in terms of the sound. Um, that to me was a little bit disappointing. But um, if I'm honest, man, I'm, I'm I know it's exciting now because it's a new car, but I'm not feeling this car at all. I'll be real, guys. Um, I feel like they will probably give it a decent BOP because one, it's new. Um, two, you know, whenever there's something new, a lot of people are going to jump in it or, or whatever. I feel like it will be good at maybe a few tracks um, on the calendar. But outside of that, I feel like unless they BOP it ridiculously well, you're going to struggle to do anything in this car, over, especially over a race distance. You're going to have to be very good to get results in this car because definitely more tricky to drive or to get the maximum out of just in terms of feel you know a lot of other cars you know even if you're not going particularly quickly they give some cars give you that feel that if you're able to find the correct balance you can really wring some time out of it this car just feels like uh, it just feels like the jag i'm sorry it, to me remembering how the jaguar felt it just feels similar to the jag what I will say is the brakes are pretty nice. It's, it's nice on the brakes. Um, other than that, there's not many positives for me driving this car um, that I could find. It, 
It didn't feel particularly fast in a straight line. I don't know if that's just BOP at Imola. I'm not too sure. The second gear bogs down a lot. So you'll see every, every time I got near the McLaren on the acceleration phase, I was getting absolutely dusted. There was a couple times you'll see I, I tried to put it down to first gear, but then the back end just lights up. And um, yeah, you can't get your foot down now. I did watch a lap from Malinowski around around the Nordschleife. And of course, they're having to run zero TC. I don't want to be doing it. I think it's ridiculous in the first place that we're having to do that to ring lap time out of, the, out of these cars. Um, I doubt they're going to fix it now. I think, I think that's what we've got for the remainder of the ACC life cycle, which is unfortunate because it just means that there's a ton of cars you're just not there's no point in driving because you're not going to get lap time out of them if you're not running zero tc and this car might be another one that suffers from that same um that that same problem man because for me just there was nothing apart from the brakes i think the brakes are okay there was nothing really stand out ish if that's even a word about the mustang it, honestly it felt like i was driving uh in the corners, it felt like I was driving a GT4, honestly. It just felt like a GT4. There's not much aero going on there. It doesn't feel like you can ring it through the fast corners. Now, I'm sure, as I said, at some tracks, they will give it a very, very good BOP, which will then make it competitive. But in terms of enjoyment to drive, nah, it's, it's, it's not there, mate. It's, it's just not up there. You know, look at the other front engine cars, the AMG, the Bentley, the Aston, the GTR. It, it's more towards, you know, feeling like GTR, Jaguar side of things instead of the Aston Martin, AMG, Bentley side of things where those cars can be really, like BMW, those cars can be really enjoyable to drive and you've got a nice setup, you know. This car just feels like even if you've got a nice setup, it's probably still going to be hard work to get the maximum out of. Um, and some people like that. Uh, me personally i feel like especially in a competitive field someone else is driving something like a ferrari or an aston something where you can you know it's fairly easy to extract you know decent performance you're going to be struggling against those guys for sure and um the main the main thing that i don't get i was i was trying to figure it out on the fly how to drive this car when to shift when not to shift what gear to be in and I was I was confused, you know, and me, I've been playing this game since 2018. I was confused which was the best route to take because, as I said, every corner feels like it's in between gears. It feels like you're either a gear too high or a gear too low to actually get the perfect, um, you know, the perfect turning from the corner. Like, for instance, as we go through the, the hairpin and we go up the hill, the, the fast left-hander at the top of the hill, it felt no different third and then you tried it in second wasn't really sure which one felt better looked at the time wasn't really a great difference and it's just like what you know what 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 route do i even take you know because as the race went on through this corner it became more and more understeery so um you know it wasn't it wasn't a pleasurable drive i didn't drive this feeling like oh i can't wait to get back in this you know the back end steps out quite a lot i was, I was running 2TC. Now there is TC1 and TC2, but if you guys have been watching my channel for a bit, you know TC2, just forget about it, man. Just forget about it. This, this is the issue with the game at the moment. There are these, you know, these certain traction control assists that exist in the real world, but in this game, they literally slow you down. So if you're new, I advise you, get used to driving the car with the least amount of traction you can unless you're driving a ferrari where you can get away with running five or, or seven or whatever because the ferrari has a great tc system other cars their traction control bogs in it slows you down even when you feel like you've got a nice exit from the corner trust me you're slow all right that's just the way it is that's how acc is at the moment that's how you go fast you need minimal tc cutting in to be really fast on this game now this car sort of, you know, sort of has that, that problem where when you don't run TC or if you was not to run TC, it does have that, you know, that instant, you know, power, instant generation of, of, of torque whenever you hit the throttle. Now, through this corner, I was definitely having to feather the throttle 
get on slowly because it does kick out. You'll see it maybe later on in the race or if I haven't finished talking about it then, the back end can be extremely wild. Even with 2TC, which is what I was using for this race, I don't know whether you're supposed to use more. I don't know if people are running two, three, four, five. All I can say is I saw the Malinowski video from Nordschleifer and he got an 8.03 something, which is a great time. And he did it with zero TC. So yeah, that tells me that's probably knowing Malinowski and how meticulous he is. Zero TC is probably the fastest way to go. If you're looking for lap time, if you're looking for enjoyment, then by all means, probably stick the TC up. But if you're racing against people that are at a, at a similar level to you, chances are you're probably going to get absolutely dusted out of corners. And that is mainly because the second gear just seems to bog down quite a lot. And it just feels sort of slow, you know. Um, I thought it was going to be a monster in the straight line. I did. I thought it was going to be an absolute beast on the straights. Maybe I ran too much wing. I was running max wing in this race. Um maybe that was the issue i don't know the aston was definitely faster than me down the straights but um car felt pretty secure i did have the car quite nicely over the over the curbs i did go up on the right hand a little bit in fact what i will do is i'll put this setup on my patreon but i'll put it in a in a uh, in a free section so you guys can try the free setup for for this track and tell me what you think for me personally, mate, getting the car to turn, as you can see the back end stepping out there when I just got on the throttle a bit too soon in first gear and that's literally what happens every time you do that. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I'll put the setup on Patreon. I'll put it in the free section so you guys can download it. You just have to click on the Patreon. I'll leave the link in the description below so you guys can do that. But um, yeah, man. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to be the Debbie Downer, but I just, I'm just not that impressed with this car, man. I don't see myself doing a championship in this car at all. It, it would, for me, it would be pain. And I could only imagine what this car is like in the wet. It, it's, no. For me, it's, you know, it's great to have new cars. I can never complain about a new car. But in terms of competitiveness, let's wait and see what the BOP is saying. I've got a feeling they might under BOP it to bring it into play. And therefore make it quick just by it being super fast but again in races you're going to struggle i do think what will happen is what we saw back in the day with the jaguar if you guys if you guys have only been watching or playing acc for the last couple of years you guys have probably never even seen the jaguar raced before but i can tell you back in the day the jaguar had a couple of specialist tracks where it was rapid i think it was zolder and monza where the Jaguar was like untouchable, right? It was rapid at those two tracks. It had a crazy BOP for those two tracks for whatever reason. And that was the only time you really saw people using it. Other than that, it was, you know, not really a factor. Um, always sounded great though. It's had a, an amazing engine note. As of this car, this car sounds great as well. The Ford Mustang does sound great, but does it actually sound like a Ford Mustang is the question. I don't believe it does. I feel like it's a bit of a cop out, unfortunately. Um, but it is what it is, man. Um, that's my opinion on the car. You guys tell me what you think. Some people may like it. It has brought some American muscle to the game. So as I said, I'm not gonna complain about having new cars in the game. I think it's great. But I do feel like at a competitive level, you're going to struggle to compete in this car unless it has a very favorable BOP. So that's my thoughts on the Ford Mustang so far. You guys tell me what you think. As I said, I'll leave the link for the setup below. You guys can go on the Patreon and download that for free. Um, and yeah, tell me what you think, guys. Crypto TNG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.